Hi everybody! We decided to show you how to make a Louisiana king cake with crawfish. It's king cake season and starting in February it's going to be crawfish season. So probably one of the most popular recipes in this book and probably on my website right now is dun -dun -dun, a king cake with a cream cheese filling. So I started thinking, here in Louisiana, we love our crawfish, so what could be better than a Louisiana savory king cake with a creamy crawfish filling? And I created this recipe, and it is just going wild. So I wanted to show you how to make it just real easily and real simple. My king cake uh, recipe that I use year-round is made with crescent rolls, just reduced fat crescent rolls. And I have honestly had people tell me that it's the best king cake they've ever had. So it's easy, it's wonderful, so we're gonna turn it into a Louisiana crawfish king cake. So I'm getting everybody time to come look, but we're gonna make this real quick, real detailed. You're, I'm Holly Clegg, and this is my Gulf Coast favorites recipe. For those of you that aren't familiar with me, all my recipes are easy, 30 minutes, and they're healthy. So yes, now this is a healthier cheese, cream cheese filling with crawfish, but it's not, I wouldn't say diabetic friendly, although I've had somebody write me that it was like the best diabetic king cake they've ever had. So, let's get started um, with the crawfish king cake. Now, I'm actually using my number one king cake recipe. It's on my blog, How to Make an Easy King Cake. And oh, if you're having a Mardi Gras party, it's on there as well. I have the best Mardi Gras menu that you could plan for your whole Mardi Gras occasion. You know, Mardi Gras is February 13th. And in our part of the country, we celebrate it right now. In fact, you can't go into a grocery store without buying a king cake. And I can't have a king cake in my house without eating the whole thing. I am love king cake and I love this time of year. So I'm gonna share with you a king cake made with crescent rolls. So simple. So we're gonna start, and I just wanna tell you, I'm sort of using my concept of my easy king cake recipe, but I'm gonna fill it with this scrumptious, delicious, creamy crawfish filling. So we're gonna start with crescent rolls. And you just take your reduced fat crescent rolls because I'm keeping this recipe trim and terrific. We'll start it again when it comes up and I'll just have all this down. Okay, we're back. I don't know what's going on. We had this trouble last time. I'm gonna to have to get a new internet, I guess, is the problem here. Uh, this is our crawfish king cake we're making if you just tuned in and I'm sort of making a mess out of it, but it won't matter. That's what I like to show people. When things fall apart, it doesn't matter. So we're gonna put, here we go. These are all your reduced fat crescent rolls, and I use reduced fat. They're in the little uh, container. You pop it open, and see I had it sitting out, so they started sticking together. And you just wanna pull them apart. This is sort of helps, usually recipes, um, aren't as helpful to watch, but this one really is more helpful. Oh goodness, I shouldn't have left it out, but we're gonna make it work. All right, and we're gonna put all the points to the middle is what I'm doing. Find the points. All righty, here we go. And if we can't find a point, we're just gonna make a point. Doesn't matter. All right, last one, you'll have 16 of them. So you divide it like this, and then you do it. And next, what we're gonna do, I preheated my oven to 350 degrees. Now this looks like a mess, but oh, it'll be fine, you'll see. All right, so now we have that, we're gonna sort of push the middle together so it'll all sort of connect. All right. Pressed it together. Now, these are our ingredients. We have, first we're gonna saute our garlic, green pepper, and onion. We're gonna let that saute, then we're gonna add reduced fat cream cheese, green onions, and our Louisiana crawfish that I've drained and rinsed. I had a question about this recipe, and you can find crawfish tails in your grocery store, and they're already cooked and peeled. You don't have to go to a crawfish boil to get it. But the best crawfish, of course, if somebody will peel them for you. And you, I always rinse and drain them because we want to keep the recipe good for you. All right, so I have sauteed everything. Just has a little filling. And now we're going to put the filling where we have sort of put our pieces together. 
Oh, I wish y'all could smell this. It's just a little cream cheese to sort of bind it together, put it together, great flavors. And you can make up this filling. If you ever had a stuffed crawfish bread, it's sort of like that, a stuffed crawfish bread, but we're using mine as a crawfish filling. Okay, let's sort of spread it around. These are my favorite little silicone pot holders. I think there's links on my blog for that. This recipe is on my blog, hollyclegg.com or thehealthycookingblog.com. Oh, it's so wonderful. It has it gives it just enough of the creamy feeling. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it together. So we're gonna put all the centers in first. This is why you needed a hint, which I've learned, don't leave your reduced fat crescent rolls out until you're ready to use them. So we're gonna put all this towards the middle, like so. Then we're gonna go back over it and fold it over. Starting to look like a king cake. So simple, you see I'm whipping this up in minutes. All right, and then we're doing it over here. And that's why you wanna put your pieces together. I usually go back and make sure it's all covered so it won't sneak out through the sides. The scrumptious filling. This is a Louisiana savory king cake. I know you're thinking, how is king cake? But this is savory. It's a crawfish. We're gonna put it in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes. So I could show it to you golden brown, and I put it on a foil-lined pan. That way you could move it to wherever you want. Now, next, uh, we have our topping. The crawfish has to have a topping of your purple leaves, purple, green, and yellow. And guess what this is? It's not coconut, it's cheese. I use shredded Italian cheeses, and then you just, you can do it however you want, do a difference. Let's just look how pretty it's coming alive. It's so simple. This could be a great appetizer. If you're watching football, we, we wish we were watching the Saints. We're still all so upset about the Saints losing. But look how fun, is this not pretty? And these are our three colors, our purple, green, and red. And this cookbook is in my Gulf, this cookbook, this recipe is in my Gulf Coast Favorites book that has all your Louisiana recipes made healthy. In fact, I have the best and the easiest crawfish etouffee recipe. If you're just tuning in, this is a Louisiana crawfish king cake. And it's from my Gulf Coast Favorite cookbook. Easy 30 minute recipes from your Louisiana kitchen. All your favorite recipes. If you go to my website, you can put in the code TRIM, T-R-I-M, 25, and you can get 25% off the cookbook, or it's available on Amazon. But the recipe is on my blog, which is hollyclegg.com, and I'm gonna put a link on it. What I would normally do is go put this back in the oven for about one to two minutes, and let it, uh, the cheese sort of melt, but I just can't wait, because I don't want y'all to have to wait any longer. And look, you can see the filling, the delicious crawfish scrumptious filling. Mmm. I'm so good. Mmm. I've been waiting to take a bite of this until I could show it to you. Mmm. Easy crawfish king cake, your favorite cream cake. King cake made with crescent rolls, simple to make. I'm gonna see you in the kitchen, and this is probably one of the most popular recipes in all my cookbooks. And you know why? Because it's so easy and so good. With crescent rolls and a crawfish cream cheese filling, number one savory king cake, the best of both worlds, crawfish and Mardi Gras. See you later.